Considering a move within the Chicago area, but feeling overwhelmed by the numerous towns and neighborhoods to choose from, well, finding the perfect Chicago suburb is a crucial step in making your new house feel like home sweet home. But let's be real, it's not all butterflies and rainbows and selecting a suburb to live in within the big metropolitan area like Chicago comes with its own set of challenges and each area has its own unique vibe, characteristics and amenities. And this tends to give a lot of people anxiety when they're considering moving somewhere within the Chicago area. So in this video, I'm helping you navigate through the things you should consider to find the perfect area for your lifestyle. You know, at some point in your life, you may want to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. And if you're doing that right here in the Chicagoland area, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. You can reach out to me by phone, text, or email. I'd love to connect with you and help you in any way possible when that time for your move comes. But for now, let's get back to the video. All right, so after helping dozens of people with their move, relocating within the Chicago Metro, I have really narrowed down exactly what you need to do in order to be successful with finding your dream community from school districts to amenities, housing options. I cover everything you need to consider when choosing a place to live. Let's go through maybe four to five different things you should think through when you're moving to the Chicagoland area and some pitfalls you might see along the way. Starting with number one, what's important to you in a community. When shopping for a home, save yourself a ton of time and do as much of the research upfront as possible on these communities. Every now and again, I have a family come into town. They wanna to search across Chicagoland, a dozen different towns, zigzagging all over the place and pretty much from my perspective, doing things out of order. There's just a much cleaner and better way to do things. Um, they just want to go see a bunch of houses. They don't really have a plan in place. And I'll be honest, these people end up costing themselves a ton of unneeded stress, time and money that they could be focusing on the communities that they actually should be concentrating on with their home search. Now, the people who I see have the most success with their home search, listen to my recommendation of creating a list upfront of what's most important to them in a community that fits their lifestyle such as schools, commute time to work, styles of home, shopping in downtown areas, access to parks and trails, and certain other amenities that fit your day-to-day -day lifestyle. You know, think about your hobbies and how you like to spend your time. If you're a foodie and enjoy shopping, you might want to live closer to a downtown area that has access to that. If you like to be outdoors, go for walks, hiking, fishing, biking, you might want to look into a house and a community more immersed in nature. A sense of community is super important to most of the people that reach out to me. So taking a deeper look into this right up front about which areas suit your particular interest is absolutely crucial. And that takes us right into number two, choosing a location. I cannot stress enough how important it is to choose the area you want to live in before looking at homes, kind of have an idea of where you want to be, and then we'll go find that dream home in that particular area. It's one thing to read about these neighborhoods and towns online, but it's another thing to get out, get in your car and explore the areas for yourself. And I always recommend having a few areas in mind. Then once you come visit Chicago, go visit those towns and those neighborhoods in person to determine if you could actually see yourself living there. That's the most important part. Ask yourself, can you see ourselves living there? Drive the neighborhoods, understand the real estate types, walk through the downtown areas, visit the parks and explore the restaurants. If there's an event going on in that particular town or area, definitely partake, talk with the people. And you'll begin to narrow down your list of areas so you can concentrate on the community that you can actually see yourself living in. And I'm happy to connect on a video call to discuss in detail your move, put together a plan and provide guidance to suggest areas for you to explore further based on your lifestyle needs. If you want suggestions on areas to explore, make sure to check out my top Chicago suburb series linked right here. Going off of that, number three, the lifestyle need of commuting to work. Now, quite a few people who contact me from my videos are relocating either for a lifestyle change for work or both. And commute time to work is very important. So you aren't spending hours of your week sitting in traffic when you could be doing other activities you actually enjoy doing. Because in Chicago, the reward for surviving winter is surviving construction season. My wife and I 
like to joke that Chicago's summer perennial flower is the orange construction cone. Depending on your job and lifestyle, drive time can have a big impact on where you live as neighborhoods with quick highway access can cut off 20 to 30 minutes on your commute time just one way. But you can leave the car at home and skip the traffic altogether as Chicago is home to the largest commuter rail system in the United States, connecting the suburbs to the city, allowing for convenient and affordable mode of transport for suburbanites via the Metra train system. It's a great resource to live by whether you're commuting for work or just want to enjoy the atmosphere of the big city. If you're an active person or family, the Chicago area is known for its entertainment, food, recreation, and things to do. There are beautiful green spaces providing an abundance of outdoor activities, family fun, and recreational sports with access to gorgeous parks, trails, athletic complexes, and plenty of lakes and rivers, making it a great place to explore the outdoors. Whether it's winter fun in the snow and ice or enjoying the beautiful sunshine filled summers, each and every town will have its own annual events and things to do between festivals, parades, entertainment, and of course, delicious Chicago style food. I encourage you to share your experiences and recommendations in the comments down below of things you love about living in the Chicago area so that anybody who's watching this video and thinking of moving here can get additional ideas. So let's talk about schools because that determines where a lot of people choose to live. Whether you have kids or not, living within a good school district will impact home values and and the type of people you call your neighbor. Widely regarded for their high academic standards, some of the top public schools and districts in Illinois and the United States are located right here in the Chicago suburbs. With access to an abundance of opportunities, diverse extracurriculars, and specialty programs, these suburban districts benefit from active community involvement and substantial funding which contribute to the overall quality of education and student success. Schools are constantly updated and provided with the latest academic technology to enhance the learning experience. For families considering a move to the Chicagoland area, make sure to check out and watch my top school districts video linked right here. The last tip I would give when moving to different areas is talk with your realtor and the people within that community to find out what's coming to that area. I know quite a few locations across the Chicago suburbs have enhanced their downtown areas within the last few years, built out new neighborhoods, added bike lanes, improved parks, and built infrastructure for people to enjoy, which keeps me busy constantly updating these videos so that you have a better idea of what it's like to live in these communities. And I like to think every realtor should know their community, but not all of them do. And the key to finding your dream Chicago suburb lies in thorough research, referencing my videos or visiting in person and working with someone who knows the areas really well. It's not the end of the world if you need to sell at your place and find somewhere where that maybe matches your lifestyle a little bit better. In fact, the great majority of people who reach out to me are looking to improve some aspect of their lifestyle and finding the right spot that works best for you and your family is where we should start. So if you're planning on making a move, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. You can reach out to me by phone, text, or email. I'd love to connect with you and help you in any way possible with your moving plans. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.